Hello and welcome back to another episode of this Dreamweaver series. So in part one I explained we were going to be using this Photoshop PSD to convert it into HTML, CSS and use Dreamweaver to code it all up and make it live. So there's a couple of things you need to have installed before we can do anything. So obviously the first thing you're going to need is actually have Photoshop. Uh, the second thing is Dreamweaver. Now if you don't have either of these two things you can actually download 30 day trials of the um, applications from Adobe themselves. So if I just open up my browser, so if you basically go to www.adobe.com forward slash products forward slash Dreamweaver, which will bring you to this page here. And as you can see, we've got two buttons. We've got, a tr we've got the buy upgrade and we've also got the try. So if you click on that, then you've got two options. So you want to be going for the Dreamweaver CS5. Okay, so as you can see here, it brings you to this page. And then at the top, we've got this drop down. So it depending on where you are in the world, obviously I'm English. I'm using the Windows platform so I can download it here. If you're actually using the Mac, again, you can download it from here as well. And literally click on download now. If I just go back and if we change Dreamweaver to Photoshop, it will bring you to the Photoshop page and again same thing again buy upgrade and try so I click on try same principle I'll click on the try button here and as you can see here we've got the drop down again so we've got English Windows uh, so you can do English Mac or whatever language you actually use um, so if we just go back so they're the two Adobe applications you're going to need so once you've got those installed, again, depending on which operating system you're using, Windows or Mac, we need to install a sort of web server environment on the PC. Um, so if you're actually using the Mac, you want to go to this website here. And again, all the links will be in the description below. So it's www.mamp.info. And then you want to come to here and download this uh, one here, which is the one-click solution for setting up a personal web server. Obviously, I haven't got a Mac, so I can't show you the installation of that, but I'm sure it's just a case of clicking Next as it is in Windows. Uh, if you're using the Windows platform, you want to come to www.wampserver.com. And again, all links in the description below. You, know, you need to find out if you're using a 32-bit version of Windows or a 64. Uh, now, to do that, if you're using Windows 7, if you click on the Start menu and just right-click on Computer and go to Properties, and you'll get this dialog box here and it should tell you here for system type and it says mine says 64 bit so I've already installed it I've installed the 64 bit edition um, so you need to find out that first and then download the appropriate version and again the installation for Windows is pretty much keep clicking next until you're finished once you've actually got uh, WAMP installed uh, what you need to do is you need to actually start it up so if you go to your start menu all programs actually start it as you can see here, there's this like W icon. So when it when it first starts up, it's actually offline. So if you just left click on the icon, then you get all these different options here. So for example, we've got localhost, PHP, my admin, which is what you use to create tables in, in databases. We've got Apache, which is the web server, PHP, um, and MySQL. So the option you want is the one at the bottom. It will say put online because mine's obviously online at the moment, so it's saying offline. Um, and then you do that, and then it will go green, and then that portion's set up. Then the next thing you need to do is probably the default location um, where it saves all of the uh, WAMP files will be on your C drive. Now, I changed mine during installation to my D drive. So if you go to your C drive, you'll probably find a folder there called uh, WAMP. And then inside of here, you'll have all these files. So the, the folder that you want to be concerned with the most is this www. So if we go into here, so in here, this is where we store all of our websites uh, to run on the Apache web server. So for example, I've got a couple of folders in here, and here's my Matt Saunders MCP folder. So when I was actually building mattsaundersmcp.co.uk, I was using this uh, actual folder here to store all of the files because the files are PHP files. Uh, and obviously a PHP is a server-side language, um, so that's why you need to install the web server on your PC or Mac. So if we just go back to the www folder, and then in here, we're going to create a folder. And I'm going to call this 
uh, Dreamweaver 3D series. You can call yours what you like. Uh, so this is the folder now we're going to save all of our files so that the Apache web server will actually render the PHP files. Now that we have all that set up, we need to jump over to Dreamweaver and just set up the site within side of Dreamweaver. So if you go to site at the top and go to new site, and then you get this dialog box here. So it's asking us the site name. So again, I'm just going to call this Dreamweaver 3D series. And it's asking us now where our local site folder is. Now this is the folder uh, we just created. Um, so if you click on the little folder icon and then you browse to the particular folder. So mine is obviously my D drive WAMP www. And here is the actual folder. So we've selected that. So the next thing we need to do is click on the servers tab on the left hand side. And we need to click on the plus symbol. So we'll just call this, just call it local server. And then the connect using, we're just going to use the local network. So it's asking us where the server folder is. So we'll just select the 3D uh, in the WAMP www folder and select. And then if we go to the advanced tab, and at the bottom we need the testing server, and we're going to choose PHP and MySQL. So what we have to click on now is this testing tick box here. Now once we've done that, we go over to the advanced settings, and then in the local info, it's now asking us for our default images folder. So we're going to create a folder inside of the Dreamweaver 3D series. And then if we open that and then select it, and it's now added in the path uh, to the images folder. And if we click on save, and then click on done, you will now see in the bottom right hand corner, we've got our site folder here. So it's in the WAMP www Dreamweaver 3D series folder. And then inside of there, we've now got the images folder. Now that we've got everything set up inside of Dreamweaver, we just need to create a PHP page and just to make sure that it's working with Apache um, on the actual PC or Mac. So what we'll do, we'll do File New and then we'll select PHP from the option at the bottom and click on Create. And then we'll just delete all of the contents. So I'm just going to create some PHP tags. And then inside, I'm going to create PHP info with two brackets so this is basically just going to give us information about php installed on the system um, so we're going to do control s to save and then we'll just call this index.php and click on save and then if you look in the bottom right hand corner now you can actually see there's our index.php page so all we need to do now just to test to make sure this is actually going to work so all we need to do now just to test to make sure this works is click on the globe symbol up here next to inspect and multi-screen and then select your browser. So I use Chrome. So if I click on that, you can now see here it's giving us information about PHP. So PHP version 5.3.4 um, and then this is the location it's pulling that from. So it's local host. So that means the, the PC and it's looking in the Dreamweaver 3D series folder and it's picking up the index.php. So now we know PHP is now working with Apache, which is the web server that's rendering this page to us right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, so just to recap what we've done in this episode, we've uh, installed Photoshop and Dreamweaver. We've installed the test server uh, on either Windows or Mac. And we've now actually configured the new website inside of Dreamweaver, which is now speaking to Apache, uh, the web server. So as usual, thanks for listening. Please leave any comments. Please subscribe. Uh, if you can share my videos on Facebook and Twitter and all your friends, it would really help me out. And I'll catch you in the next video.